CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up smart motion detection on your NVR using the mouse and your TV or computer monitor. So first, I'm going to right click, click main menu. I'm going to log into the admin user. This graphical password can be found on a label on the top of your NVR, or you can click the switch user button and type the password in manually. First, I need to go to the AI menu by clicking AI, going into the parameters menu, and then clicking the SMD or Smart Motion Detection tab. Then I need to make sure that this enable box is blue, so clicking on it will turn it from gray to blue. Then I can choose my sensitivity. A low sensitivity means that you'll get less false alarms, but it won't be able to detect Smart Motion Detection as far. Medium is a balance between the low and high setting. And then high means that you'll be able to do Smart Motion Detection at a further distance but you may get more false alerts from things like large animals or sometimes even small animals. So I'm going to choose the medium setting. Next is the filter or effective target, in which case you can choose human and motor vehicle or one or the other. So if I only wanted to detect motor vehicles, I would uncheck human. And then if I only wanted to detect humans, I would check human and then uncheck motor vehicle. I want to detect both, so I'm going to leave both checked. Then you can click apply to save your enable setting, your sensitivity, and your effective target. At the bottom, there's some additional settings that are optional. So the schedule setting, of course, you're going to want to click on the setting and ensure that smart motion detection is enabled for all the days and hours that you want it to work. So you would choose the day and time. By default, it is 24-7 throughout the week, and then click OK. Now keep in mind, this does not mean you have recording enabled. In order to do that, you need to go to the storage schedule by either right clicking or clicking the back button at the bottom right hand side, going to the storage tab under the setting menu. So you click on storage, then in the schedule tab. So if you're on basic, you need to go to the schedule tab and then make sure that you have the yellow colored motion enabled for the day and time where you want smart motion detection to record. So again, you would select your yellow color and draw your time, date and time. So where there is no yellow, that means I'm not recording. And then I would draw my yellow to make sure that I am recording for that time. And then click the apply button. Again, making sure that you have yellow motion detection enabled for the day and time where you want to record. So I need to right click to go back to my main menu and then go back to the AI page. So the additional settings you can enable here is you can have your NVR show a message. You could have it report the alarm. You could send an email. You're of course going to want to have record channel enabled. You could tell it to record other channels if you have other channels connected. PTZ linkage, you could have your PTZ go to a preset whenever an event is detected. The tour simply means that your NVR will display a certain number of cameras when an event is detected. Picture storage is for the snapshot if you want it snapshot recording. Post record means that it's going to keep recording for 10 seconds after the event is detected and the thing that triggered the event is no longer in view. You get 10 seconds of post recording. The buzzer, you could have your NVR beep. You could log the event or you could also play an alarm tone. So make sure you choose the optional settings that you want to enable, then click apply. At the top, if you have other cameras with smart motion detection, you would have to click the channel button, then choose the channel, enable it, choose your sensitivity, choose your effective target, and then enable any of the options that you want to enable as well. So again, you would need to choose the channel that you want to enable the smart motion detection on. After you've done that and you've made sure that your smart motion detection is enabled, you can test it. And then to play back any recordings of smart motion detection, you go back into the AI page and then choose the AI search button on the menu. You would then need to click on the SMD or smart motion detection tab as I have done so already. Make sure you choose the channel that you have it enabled on or search all channels for smart motion detection. Choose the type of recording, either all, human or motor vehicle. Choose the start time and end time that you want to search between. 
and then click the search button. So this camera is pointed at a busy street, so most of my events are motor vehicle, but if I use my scroll wheel on my mouse, or I use the scroll bar at the right hand side, then I can scroll down and find that I do have some human events as well. So if I was to play back any of these events, I would simply need to come over here to the right hand side and click the play icon. It's gonna bring up a neat window, and since this is a human event, I should see a human go by, in which case the camera is accurately able to detect this human on a bicycle in the background and then it was also able to detect that vehicle. So that green rectangle that you saw around those two objects was the smart motion detection algorithm detecting that a human was present which I got this event from and then it also detected that that car was present which you'll see that this event here at 3 minutes and 58 seconds to 4 minutes and 20 seconds was also that vehicle that was detected. If you wanted to export any of the, these events, you could simply click the checkbox by the event and then click the backup button. If you had a USB drive connected, you could easily click the export button and export it as a .dav raw file or a .mp4 file for playback. So that's how convenient smart motion detection is. Not only is it accurate at detecting humans on bicycles or on the street or detecting vehicles that are parking or driving by, you can also come in here and easily check the checkbox for that event and then click the backup button. Hopefully this video helps you set up smart motion detection on your NVR. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.